Hello, I'm Tiffany and welcome to The Raw Report. On CNN Wednesday, reporter Donnie O'Sullivan discussed the QAnon gathering in Dallas and some of the personal motivations of its adherents. He started out by pointing out, quote, it is important to remember this sort of wider context. This is all playing out and there is a space online where there is no truth, said O'Sullivan. Here's a further look into the scene and discussion. People are not tethered to uh, reality uh, anymore. And while we have seen, you know, this was a small segment of the QAnon population, I guess you could call them at this point. Um, but, you know, other folks in QAnon who said, oh, those people yesterday were crazy who showed up in JFK uh, to, to try to see JFK and JFK Jr., uh, they were also the same people who for months are saying the election's been stolen, all the Democrats are going to be uh, rounded up and sent to Guantanamo Bay. So it's difficult to see where, uh, you know, where one conspiracy begins and the other ends. Uh, obviously, JFK and his son, JFK Jr., did not show up yesterday, so these people uh, didn't get to meet their hero. But I do want to show you... Um, one one quote from that the Daily Beast picked up on on a live stream. A lot of people were live streaming this event yesterday. Uh, a person, one of the attendees, said some of them are home. Speaking about people at this event, were alone, feeling lonely. They had nobody there. We've heard these stories for months about people, people feeling alone, having nobody they can talk to. And now you have, what, a thousand people in Dallas. I think that's just a really important point to hit on here, John. It made all the political stuff. So many folks that we speak to who go down these rabbit holes uh, of conspiracy theories, especially online, are looking for community. They are looking for people yeah. to interact with. And that is what uh, a lot of these uh, conspiracies give folks that sort of outlet. Um, that all being said, it's a shame you're in Washington, John. I am going for a late breakfast this morning with Elvis and Tupac. You could have came along. CNN's John Berman signed off by adding one person there would have been too many. But the fact that it was hundreds and hundreds really is scary, he said. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, please like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.